Hi, Abigail. I just want to do a quick um, supply check. I got a brush and I got a cup full of water. And I also got some paper towels because it's not art unless we make a little bit of a mess. Um, and I also have our paints here. So colorful. Everybody say, ooh, ah, yes, I know, they're great. Um, and of course, something to paint on. So I just have this board right up here. Um, Always something I like to say before we start, there's never any pressure to make your painting look anything like this. Uh, my painting probably won't even look like this and I was the one who painted it. Um, we're here to have fun, so feel free to change it up in any way, shape or form, I might. Who knows, we'll see what happens. Um, so yeah, to get started, I like to put my brush in a cup of water just to wake up the bristles. And then I'll take the extra water off my brush by just touching um, a paper towel just to take the excess off. And I'm gonna start off with the background. I think I'm gonna keep the grass green and the sky blue. So I'll just dip my brush into the, into the green. And for me, I like to see where, I like to mark my horizon. Um, and for me, it's probably around halfway of the page. So maybe I'll make a mark here, maybe a mark here. And then I'll just, Connect the dots. Whoops, it was a little bit off, but that's A-OK. -okay. Ooh, there we go. And I'm just gonna paint back and forth a nice green grass, cause fall in Florida is still green. <laughs> that's A-OK. -okay. I want to make sure that I put on a nice thin layer because I'm going to paint a mushroom right on top of it. So if I paint too thick, it might um, take a while for the paint to dry. So I'm going to make sure it's not too thick, but I still want it thick enough to cover up my white paper. Whee. You can have fun with this. I'm going left and right, but if you want to add textures or something like that, you are more than welcome to. Also, I have my friend Matt in the room too. Matt, do you wanna say hi? Hi, hi Abigail, how are you? I'm well, thanks. Just to, look, to make sure everybody knows I'm not alone painting by myself. You are not um, alone, I'm, I'm right here by your side, my friend. Thanks, friend. Yeah, Matt's here assisting me and if you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to do so, like on the, if you're on Instagram. And I think, is there a way to call like from the hotel, of uh, hotel, hospital room or something? <laughs> I can't remember if there was. Oh, Christy says, love seeing Abigail. Oh my gosh, hi Christy. <laughs> Hope you're doing well. Wish I could see you, <laughs> but that's okay. I'll see you later. <laughs> uh, yes, the kids can call, I think it's 2111 is the extension for the phone down here. Uh, 211. I think that's what. Okay, we're gonna get some confirmation from sure. from uh, child life specialist Kara. Yes. It's also here helping us out, running the cameras for the hospital. Yes. Forgive my, uh, I'm tweaking the camera Instagram here to get a little bit more Abigail in there. Oh no, it's okay. <laughs> no, I was, getting, I'll just tease I was getting a lot of the sign over here and stuff. Oh, okay. Gotta focus on our superstar. Oh, stop it. So kind, whoops. There we go, there we go. Yeah. Probably should have given myself a bigger brush, but that's okay. More time to paint. I kind of like having this texture here. Two eight one one one. Two eight one one one. All right, so two eight one 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 is the proper extension. Awesome. So any friends in the hospital? 
hospital that want to say anything, feel free to give us a call. So yeah, if you're in the hospital, if you're one of the patients in the hospital, or you're a family member, a sibling, or you're visiting somebody and you're following along, you pick up that phone and dial 28111. And that'll call us down here. If you're on YouTube, feel free to comment on the stream. I'm doing my best to keep an eye on it. And if you're on Instagram, you can comment up there. We've yeah. already got some people up there waving hi. Oh, we got some waivers. Yeah, Teresa's on. Oh, hi, Teresa. We've got some good friends there. Oh, I swear, Arbuthal Heart has, like, the best friends. I agree. Like, we have such a great support. So those who are watching, like, thank you. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. If you haven't already, definitely please go subscribe to our YouTube channel. And that way you'll know when we're doing more presentations. Yeah. And then for me, just because I'm a little fancy, I like to paint the edges of my um, uh, board. Sorry, I'm trying so hard not to say canvas. <laughs> good. It gives it a nice finished appearance. Though. Yeah. That's just me, though. I'm a little... I guess I'm a little bougie that way. Yeah, I think so far I like how my grass is looking. Nice and green and bright. I think I'm ready for a sky. A nice blue sky. How do we feel, friends? Perfect. I'm gonna clean off my brush in the water. I like to scrub my brush um, at the very bottom of the cup to get it as clean as possible. I'll take it out, dab it on the paper towel, get that extra paper off, extra paper off, extra paint off. <sighs> You're doing great, bud. Thanks, friend. I promise. I'm very much human. I make lots of mistakes when it comes to my words. Um, and we'll start on the sky. And for me, I want a nice, bright blue sky. So I'm going to dip my brush in the blue. And I'm just going to go and start painting the sky. I think I'm going to start from the horizon also. Maybe I like to clean that up a little bit. If it kind of overlaps and blends with the green, that is A-OK. -okay. Just want to define that a little bit. There you go. And I'm just going to go back and forth, left and right. Again, you can make your sky anything you want. Who knows? Maybe if you want, you can definitely do like a, like a gradient or something. If you want to add some white, make it lighter. You are welcome to. I know we also have red on our palette. So if you mix red and blue together, they make a purple color. Maybe there's like a sunset or something. I don't know. Maybe it's a dark night. I don't know. This is your painting. You can do whatever you want. For me, I'm going to keep it nice and simple. I just like a simple blue plain sky today. Because... I think it was raining earlier today. Might not, I hope I'm not mistaken, so. I don't want it to be too dark. We, I think we've had enough rain. That's just me. I'm tired of mowing the grass. Just uh -huh. kidding. Again, I'm going to paint my mushroom right on top of it, so I don't want it too thick. Otherwise, it's going to take forever to dry, and I don't got enough time for that, <laughs> unfortunately. We don't have forever. Or do we? Or do we? I mean, I guess we do, but we don't. who yeah, wants we don't. to watch us forever? <laughs> I'm sure Cara has important things to do. <laughs> Poor thing. <laughs> And you're welcome to join us too if you want. <laughs> we do need another artist at yeah. some point. Yeah. Uh, I'm not the best artist. I didn't you ask if you were the best. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. Well, the offer is here for you if you change your mind. You're welcome. <laughs> All right. I was supposed to do this today, but I can't. And then on the 19th, I'm supposed to run for the antiques class. 
You're just doing everything, Matt. <laughs> I was actually looking up some fun facts about mushrooms earlier today to see what I can learn about them. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Um, one of them I learned, like in certain parts of Brazil and Japan, they have like some bioluminescent mushrooms, like meaning that they glow in the dark. And I thought that was super cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I didn't know that mushrooms could do that. or that we had any that, you know, were able to do that. That's always cool. Yeah. You ever swimming in bioluminescence? What was that? Have you ever been, have you ever been swimming in bioluminescence? No, I want to though. That's a, um, a goal of mine. Cause that looks really cool. Almost done with my sky. I'm excited to start the mushroom house. Like Looks as I was great. thanks, friend. Y'all can't see Matt, but he looks great too. <laughs> Alright. Paint the edges a little bit. There we go. There we go. You're very kind. The, uh, the hospital camera occasionally gets a, a shot of my bald head flashing <laughs> across the bottom of the screen. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's better. Thank you, Carl. You oh, that is so funny. <laughs> I didn't even realize. <laughs> All right. I hope most of us have our sky and our grass in because I am ready to start painting the mushroom. So I'm going to clean off my brush again, just scrub the bottom of the cup with it. Yeah, I'm adjusting your camera here again. Yeah. Sure. I like how the water, because we mixed like green and blue leftover paint, the water looks like it's teal. All I'm thinking about is jaguars. <laughs> That's cool. But um I think that I think there's something about the jaguars in this town. I'm not really sure. I think there's something about it. I don't know, something about jaws. People like jaguars? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure we have some people who like some jaguars around here. Yeah. We'll find a few. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to dab my paper towel and I'm going to start with like the base of the mushroom, that light brown color. And so I don't have a light brown color on my palette. I don't think anyone does. So I think we're going to mix it. Um, and so if you're in the hospital, you should have like a second plate, like a blank plate. And we'll use that as a mixing palette. So what I like to do after cleaning off my brush and dabbing off the extra paper, oh my gosh, extra water, extra, yeah, oh, extra paint water. <laughs> I'm going to take a scoop of white paint. I'm going to twist it off on my plate here. Maybe I'll take an extra scoop or two. And I like to twist it off to get as much of the paint off my brush as possible. And then... I'm gonna take my brush, I don't have to clean it just yet, and I'll just dab it the very end of the brush into the very end of the puddle of the brown. I'll mix it together and I should make a light brown color. And you can make this as light or as dark as you'd like, it doesn't have to be exact. I'm just gonna make this a little bit darker by adding just a little bit more brown. I'm mixing that in there. I also wanna make sure that I have enough paint, so I might do an extra scoop of white with just a little bit of brown. There we go, there we go. Got a little bit of blue in there, but that's okay. It's still gonna make brown. And my mushroom base kind of starts off skinny at the top and then 
It kind of has a curve towards the bottom. So, and it also starts like around the midpoint of the grass. It's about the middle of the page, middle of the page, center of it. And maybe I'll start off with like a nice round shape. It's almost like an upside down light bulb. But you can make this as curvy or as straight, as thick, as thin as you'd like. Maybe I'll do something like this. It really does look like an upside down light bulb. Maybe I'll make it a little bit bigger. So you can adjust this however you'd like. Cut off the top here. I'm not going to worry too much around the top because I'm going to add more to it. So I'm going to keep adding some here. I'm filling that in. And I remember when I was painting that example, I was trying to think of like, who was living in this house? Maybe there's like some magical creatures, like maybe some fairies or, I don't know, maybe like a tiny witch or, I don't know. What do you think, Mad? Who do you think is living in that little house? Uh, at the risk of being guilty of copyright violations, I would say oh. Mario. <laughs> <laughs> or Toadstool, isn't it Toad the little guy that lives? Yeah, that there's Mario? Toad and Toadette. <laughs> yeah, I think that's 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 who I'm thinking of. Oh, yeah, because they have like mushroom heads too. Or maybe it's Princess Peach's vacation home in the country. Ooh. She can have a mushroom palace. <laughs> right? That's That'd be thinking. cool. running out of this brown color. That's okay, we can always make more, always add more. But I think I'm done with that for now. There we go. Do I like that shape? I think I do. bit wet so I'm not gonna work on the top part of it just yet maybe I could start working on the bricks a little pathway so I like to I wanted to make them into stone but maybe you can make a wooden pathway or something like that or maybe a dirt pathway I don't know it's your painting your mushroom house you can do whatever you want so I think I'm gonna make a light brown color. Maybe not as light as this, maybe just a little bit darker. So I'm gonna take a few scoops of white and just add some brown. I'm just gonna put it right on top of what I had before. Maybe I'll do a scoop of brown. And we'll watch that. Ooh, yes. There we go. I like making stone pathways because they don't have to be perfect. They can be a little bit wonky. If you kind of messed up, no one can tell. So I just have a brown that's just a little bit darker than the house. And just starting from the center, I like to make ovally shapes that are long, like horizontal wise. So that way it seems flat. And they can be kind of like blobs. Some of them are bigger, some of them are smaller. Like I like having a variety. That's just me. Maybe if you want to do like some big circles or something or big ovals, that's okay too. Have fun with it. So I think I'm gonna have maybe. Did you know? Uh, did you know that every year the mushrooms get together and have uh, fierce sports competitions? What? They do. They, they duke it out to see who's going to be the champignons. <laughs> oh, my 
my gosh, I'm so gullible. <sighs> Get it together. <laughs> That was a good one. I was really, you got me there. <laughs> That's good. Well, you didn't know that. It's not commonly known that mushrooms are so sporty. Ah, spores. <laughs> <laughs> I know. My Aren't you are, just a fun guy? <laughs> my jokes are so fun. Fun guy. Fun guy. Never a boring day with Matt, you guys. <laughs> but yeah, we got some long, blobby shapes for stone. Yeah, I like to start off like thin at the top and make it longer towards the bottom. So it gives an illusion of perspective. So they kind of get a little bit bigger towards the bottom. Yeah, I like these wonky shapes. And then I'll fill in some smaller spaces with some dots. Most of my sky is dried up, so I think I'm going to start working on the, the top head of the mushroom part. I'm going to clean my brush. Again, we're going to scrub the bottom of the cup, dab it on a paper towel. I'm going to put this plate down and pick up my palette and start with the red. And I think for me, I'm just going to have a nice big blobby shape. Gonna make it wider towards the bottom, a little thinner at the top. You can always make the shape small and then make it bigger if you'd like. It's easier to make things bigger, it's harder to make things smaller. So maybe I'll start off with something like that. I think I'm gonna adjust it a little bit. Maybe I want a little taller. There we go. A little bit wider. There we go. It's okay if it's a little rough. That's one of the beauty of like painting things that are organic in nature. If it's a little rough looking, that's okay. There's a lot of imperfections in nature. There's a lot of forgiveness. And no one can tell that you messed up. Right. I think I painted a little too thick, but that's okay. I want to fix up this little bottom part. go there we go sometimes you got to take a step back right. now I think this is the fun part is like making the house you get to make a little door and maybe some windows you could 
have fun with this. I made my door like a little bit rounded and I made circle windows, but you can make squares, you can make triangles. You, make them, you can make blobs, who knows? So with the door, it's kind of similar to the brown color down here. So I might use that same brown that I think I still have. If you ran out, you can always make some more. I'm gonna dip it into this, whatever I have left. And I'm gonna just paint the door right in the middle. hard to see. I think I'm going to make it a little darker by adding more brown. There we go. <laughs> Bless you. You're welcome. All right. And I'll outline that later. For now, I'm just gonna add some windows. Um, and I did that by mixing blue and white so I can have a lighter blue. Just gonna take a scoop of white and a little bit of blue. Mix those together. Ooh la la. I don't know about you, sometimes mixing colors are just like very therapeutic. It's a lot of fun. I used to be afraid of painting because I wasn't ever sure if I was going to mix the colors right. Mm -hmm. Now when I paint, I just mix them on the painting. <laughs> I, don't know. This is more fun. I agree. Sometimes you'll never know what you'll get. Sometimes it's a good thing, sometimes it's a bad thing, but that's the whole point of learning, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I think I'm just going to have two windows that are circle. Go. I don't know, maybe I'll put a third one. I feel like I've got space for it. Put one right down here. I like to twist the brush. I like to press it and twist it. That's how I get almost perfect circles. to define some areas. I'm going to use brown to kind of trace some spots and give some shadows so it's not so flat. So I'm just going to dip my brush into the brown and I'm just going to define like the door, a little bit of the cobblestone, a little bit of the shape of the mushroom. Um, maybe this <coughs> also gives a little bit of a texture too. I'm not going to put too much paint. I'm just going to water it down just a little bit. I don't want to add too much paint to my brush. I'm going to keep it nice and light. There we go. And for me, I like how my brush has like these bristles. It gives, it helps give like that extra texture. Uh, sometimes if I have too smooth of a brush, it doesn't give the texture that I want. I want this to kind of look like wood almost on this door. Slightly brushing it, I'm not going to press too hard. I'm going to slightly outline. 
colors, Oops. adult code green, flower tower, first floor registration, adult code green, flower tower, first floor registration, adult code green, flower tower, first floor registration. putting this towards like the bottom of each um, cobblestone, kind of as a shadow, some texture. My left or your left? Oh, okay. Is this okay? Okay. Perfect. How are you doing on time? Oh, okay. Oops. That's For a 37 minute. Time goes by fast. It does move. <laughs> it's okay. We're almost done. I'm gonna outline the windows. Yep. The top it's looking good though. Thanks, the cameras are actually working. The microphones <laughs> are working. It's a good day today. hear her on YouTube. They can't hear you anymore on YouTube. That's what Brooke's saying. Here, let's turn you up a little bit. Talk to me. Tell me a story, Abigail. Um, Family story. friendly. Tell me the, your favorite. Did you have any good food this weekend? Any delicious dishes? I did have some delicious dishes. I was telling Matt before we started that it was actually my sister's birthday this weekend. And so I took her to Disney World. Uh, we went to Magic Kingdom and Epcot, and right now Epcot has a food and wine festival going on. So we ate around the world, ate some good food. I think one of the favorite things that I get almost every time is in this Hawaiian kiosk pavilion or booth, whatever, and they have like this passion fruit cheesecake. That's just, ah, just this. Cheesecake? Yeah. Okay. All right. I think the only thing we have left is just to add some spots on the red parts of our house to make it look super mushroomy. And just some fun blobs. Whoops. Hey. All right. Wet. What's that? Stuff? Ooh, I actually like this pink. Me? Oh. Sure. Right here? Okay. Yeah, try that. Test, test, test. Yeah. Is that okay? I know, I'm like all wired up. No, you're okay. You let me know. Are you two friends can't hear us? Oh no. I'm sorry. I'll try to speak louder. Oh, that's too. paint all over my pants. Okay. <laughs> you hold on to the paint just for two seconds. I'm sorry, friend. That's okay. All right. We're almost done. I promise. But yeah. I didn't let this dry, but that's okay. I kind of like this pink look. Ooh, 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 ooh. I can imagine like a fairy or something living in here, maybe. Oops. Just going to clean this up. Thanks. 
best friend. We have our friend Amy here too. Say hi, Amy. Hello, friend. <laughs> I think so too. I love when you're done. I'm actually liking how this pink and red and white is coming out. I'm not gonna lie. Uh -huh. job Abigail thanks for thanks for your time today of course thank you Matt and thank you child life you guys are awesome have a great day you guys